Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about the sweet alert. So how to integrate sweet alert in your application and these are the cool things. So suppose if I going to edit, add or delete something and I need a, a proper message or proper alert system and it will look nice and how you can do this. I will show you each and everything just right now. So simply just go to the edit and simply if I just edit this, we are getting the student updated successfully. Okay, this is a cool message, but still if I want some alert type message, sometime you may have, uh, you may get any requirement like you need to add uh, this type of things. So how can I do this? So we have a sweet alert option. So now search sweet alert means CSS. So simply write sweet alert main file and CSS. So just click on this link. And now you will get sweet alert mean js and a sweet alert mean css so just use this so just copy the css to the head section so this is the head part and now just uh, go here and uh, this is the js so just paste it here okay so before the html tag close now i actually uh, added this page when we uh, displayed the crude application i only published that video okay so you can check from my playlist now i am using the sweet alert mean js so that's the reason i need to use the jquery cdn to work with uh, that thing so okay so just click on this and just uh, pick the minified version and paste it on the top of the all js okay so sweet alert uh, js css and jquery cdn is added now to activate sweet alert we need to use the things uh, like uh, create a script tag script tag and just close the script tag and inside this just uh, initialize the um, sweet alert SWAL sweet alert SW sweet A for AL for alert and here first I will uh, going to write the congratulations so after adding some things or updating some things i just write, writing one message congratulations so this is the greetings okay now i just need to print what i actually print dynamically like a student added successfully or student edited successfully actually these things are coming from the session section so simply just copy that things and paste it here and finally I need to uh, write in this way so to print from this JavaScript section actually we need to write in this way so that it will print okay and next things I need to add uh, the success okay so just write here success and the next parameter I want to set the button so simply just uh, create a button and the button label will be okay right and this is the text so okay okay so all are added now if i uh, just uh, going to this is the edit page so if i just going to edit something that time will get access of that so just uh, hard refresh first so actually i added the js css okay so it's showing the cron congratulations okay it's all time it's showing so i need to uh, see the alert when actually session is exist so for that we just uh, going to add these things if session has this success that time only it will uh, accessible so simply write end if okay and now hard refresh again so when i just going to update that things so congratulations student updated successfully actually these things are coming from the session okay and simply if i just going to add that things into uh, app page also we can do it easily so copy all the things and all the things and just write in here and also just uh, copy from the uh, header that is a css so just write here Mm, in the head section and now just uh, go back and try to add one student suppose write show more and show more at the rate email.com 
and phone number some random number and address Kolkata okay Kolkata India okay and click on submit congratulations student added successfully so this time it's doing added actually these are coming from controller these are coming from the sessions right hope you will understand this and I recommend to use these things into your application it will looks beautiful right so still if you have any queries about this video please comment in the below comment section next day we are going to discuss about another important topic so every project should have a export import functionality so we'll going to move on that functionality so in next video or in our upcoming video we are going to discuss about how to export pdf in laravel so keep watching this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye